China is a sovereign state located in East Asia. It contains 22 provinces in five regions and it borders 14 countries. China has an area of approximately 9,600,000 km2, making it the fourth largest country after Russia, Canada and the USA. The territory of China lies between latitudes 80 degrees, 54 degrees north and longitudes 73 and 135 degrees east. Because of this, its landscape varies a lot, from mountain ranges to rainforests. China has over 1,500 rivers. The Yangtze and Yellow Rivers, the third and sixth longest in the world, run from the Tibetan Plateau to the densely populated eastern seaboard. China is officially known as the PRC. The People's Republic of China was formed in 1949. The PRC is a single party state governed by the Communist Party known as the CCP. The currency in China is the yen. The current president of China is Xi Jinping. Here are some facts about China. The capital is Beijing, and the, but the largest city is Shanghai. The president is Xi Jinping. The population is 1,350,690,000. The population density is 144 people per kilometer squared. The GDP is $13.374 trillion. The GDP per capita is $9,828. The annual GDP growth is 7.8%. The GINI coefficient is 0.474. The HDI is 0.699, the literacy rate is 95.1%, the life expectancy is 73.5 years, and the population below the poverty line is 13.1%. Waterways are 123,964 km of waterways. The idea for the South-North Water Transfer Project originated from Mao Zedong, Zedong, the founder of the PCC, who said in 1952, Southern water is plentiful, Northern water scarce. If at all possible, borrowing some water would be good. The huge project is planned to be able to divert 44.8 billion cubic metres of water per year from the Yangtze River in southern China to Yellow River Basin in northern China. The projected cost of the water transfer project is roughly 62 billion. The government initially planned for the cost to be much lower, but due to many factors, namely compensation for people forced to move, environmental problems and the presentation of pres preservation of cultural sites has further inflated the cost. The annotated map shows the two main rivers involved, the Yangtze and Yellow River, and also the three routes, the West Route, the Central Route, and the Eastern Route. The East Route. The Eastern Route project is said to be the most advanced water management scheme in construction. It consists of an upgrade to the Grand Canal. Its main purpose will be to divert a fraction of the flow of the Yangtze River to northern China. The flow in the Yangtze never falls below 600 km3 a year, so Chinese officials believe that the 14.8 km a year diversion will have no effect on the river's load. Water from the Yangtze will be drawn into a canal in Zhongdu, where a massive 400 meter cubed pumping station will pump the water up the Grand Canal through two tunnels 70 meters below the Yellow River, where it can then flow down to the reservoirs near Tian. Tianjin. The eastern route began construction in de December 2002. It was expected to be finished by 2012, however no water has reached Tianjin yet. Com the completed route will be 1,152 kilometers long, equipped with 23 pumping stations that will pump 1 billion meter cubed a year to Tianjin. The central or middle route is from the Dan Django Reservoir on the Han River, a tributary of the Yangtze River to Beijing. The project involves raising the height of the Django Dam, increasing the dam crest elevation from 162 metres to 176.6 metres above the sea level. In order to raise the water level in the reservoir from 157 metres to 170 metres above the sea level, 
The middle route is built on the North China Plain. The canal is to be constructed so that water can flow all the way from Danjiangku Reservoir to Beijing by gravity, without the need for pumping stations. The main engineering challenge is to build a tunnel under the, under the Yellow River. Construction on the central route began in 2004. In 2008, the 307km long northern stretch of the central route was completed at a cost of US $2 billion. The whole project was expected to be completed around 2010. This has recently been set back to 2014 to allow for more environmental protection to be built. The Western Route, also called the Big Western Line, is in the planning stage. It aims to divert water from the headwaters of the Yangtze River into the headwaters of the Yellow River. To move the water through the drainage divide between these rivers, huge dams and long tunnels are needed to cross the plateau and western Yunnan plateaus. This route is designed to bring 3.8 billion meters cubed of water from three tributaries at the Yangtze River, about 450 kilometers across the Bayangkala Mountains to northwest China. The Tonkhtian diversion line will be 289 kilometers long. The Yalong, 131 kilometers, and the Dadu, 30, kilom 30 kilometers. The feasibility of this route is under study. This project won't start in the near future. Environmentalists have raised concerns about the potential flooding. The, the respective rivers are entirely within China. While some parts of China are flooding, others can't get enough water. Earlier this week, Chinese officials began relocating residents from central China to make way for a massive water diversion project. The project is one of the many ways the Chinese regime is trying to deal with chronic water shortages in major cities. But experts say the authorities may be taking the wrong approach. On Wednesday, Chinese authorities began their biggest relocation program since the construction of the Three Gorges Dam. They're moving residents from central Hubei province to make way for the South North Water Diversion Project. It aims to bring water from the Yangtze River to northern cities that are prone to drought. Water management has been a persistent problem in China's recent development. Even as the Chinese regime spends billions building massive dams and water diverting projects, parts of the country continue to experience chronic water shortages. In Beijing, rapid development, a population influx and drought have been depleting the area's water resources. The city's water supply used to come from two main reservoirs, but one of them became too polluted during the 1990s and no longer supplies drinking water. With Beijing's groundwater levels also falling, authorities began to divert water from surrounding areas, like neighboring Hebei province. Now the central route of the ambitious South North Water Division project will displace a total of 330,000 people by 2014. But some experts believe China's water shortage problems stem from a deeper issue of mismanagement and cannot be resolved by simply diverting water across the country. Experts and conservation groups have called on Chinese leaders to rethink their water management strategies. Some have suggested addressing pollution and rampant deforestation and focusing on water conservation instead of large infrastructure projects. China's total water shortage is around 1.5 trillion gallons. That's three times the annual water supply of New York City. The South North Water Transfer Project has been decided as essential by the Chinese government as the water is needed for the booming population and industry in the North to fuel Northern China's development. Without the water transfer to the North the North would fall behind in development. It has been said that it is easier and cheaper to move the water North than to move the industry and population South. Financing. Construction costs of the eastern and central routes was estimated to be 254.6 billion yen, 37.44 billion US dollars, in 2008. The government had budgeted only 53.87 billion yen, less than a quarter of the total cost at that time, including 26 billion from the central government and special accounts, 8 billion from local governments and almost 20 billion in loans. As of 2008, around 30 billion yen had been spent for the construction of the eastern and central routes. 
The project has met great controversy. Opponents object to it on the grounds that it is a massive waste of resources. It could create a large number of migrant people. It could waste massive amounts of water through evaporation and pollution. The project's huge cost would make the water prohibitively expensive for consumers. The dry season could cause the Yangtze River to suffer from water shortages. It would be detrimental to the Yangtze River transportation, and it could cause an environmental disaster. Additionally, some villagers being, ro being low relocated for the central route claim they are forced to sign relocation agreements. In the summer of 2013, complaints arrived from the fish farms on the Dongping Lake, reporting that the polluted Yangtze River water entering the Dongping Lake is killing their fish. Government officials and defenders of the project claim the Yangtze River has a plentiful supply of water, with 96% of the water currently flowing into the Pacific Ocean. Also in China, tens of thousands of people in central China are being relocated to make way for the country's next largest water project. It aims to quench the thirsts of drought-stricken regions in the north. The South to North Water Diversion Project aims to move 45 billion cubic meters of water to China's northern provinces, places stricken by chronic water shortage. It'll take water from the Yangtze River in the south and move it northward along three main routes, eastern, central and western. But ever since work began in December 2002, the project has been controversial. Earlier this month, 12,000 rural residents in Henan province were relocated from their villages. Chinese media report they're being moved away from the Danjiangko Reservoir so it can be heightened to hold more water, water that will eventually be diverted through Henan and Hebei provinces to Beijing. But besides the human impact, one water expert says the project could have dangerous environmental consequences. Dr. Wang Wei Luo explains what can happen if water is rerouted against its natural east-west flow. This channel will cut across nearly 700 rivers. The rivers may be flowing quite well now, but if there's a flood or if there's a drought, the entire river will effectively become a basin. Where will all the water go if there's a flood? Then there's the money. Chinese media report that the eastern and central routes will cost an estimated 37 billion U.S. dollars. The two routes will also see the relocation of 44,000 more people. And according to China's State Administration of Cultural Heritage, the water diversion project will affect 788 important cultural spots, including two UNESCO World Heritage Sites. And despite all these potential impacts, Dr. Wang says the water diversion won't fundamentally solve the North's water shortage problem. The root cause of northern China's lack of water is not that the area is a place of drought. Beijing has a water shortage problem because Beijing has damaged its own water resources. So even if it diverts water, the problem cannot be solved. The massive water project is set to be completed in the year 2050.